10 most expensive things owned by Elon Musk. With a net worth of over $190 billion, Elon Musk is the world's richest person. He's already got an idea of how he's going to spend his vast wealth. The tech entrepreneur who serves as CEO of electric car firm Tesla and space flight firm SpaceX has overtaken Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos to the number one spot. Today, we look at the top 10 most expensive things owned by this eccentric billionaire. Number 10. Tesla-inspired Python covered Air Jordan's $1,500 At the unveiling of his new Model Y Tesla car in March of 2019, the billionaire was sporting a flashy new pair of sneakers. The black and red Air Jordans were made by DM Custom Shoes. The sneakers are covered in actual Python skin. Musk jumped on stage doing a giant karate kick to show off his new kicks at the car's launch. While the actual Tesla version of the shoes is not for sale, you can get a pair of the non-Tesla versions online for $1,050. The company will sell you a base pair of shoes for $100, and you have to pay an additional $950 to get them custom-made, and the shoes seem to be in high demand. In fact, there seemed to be more excitement over the shoes than there was over the car. Musk's custom one of kind shoes are valued at $1,500 but will likely increase in value over time. Number 9. Tesla Diamond and Ruby Ring $37,000 Elon Musk is surprisingly not known as a man who buys so many expensive things. However, he did inspire celebrity jeweler Ben Baller to create diamond and ruby encrusted rings. Baller created the ring with the Tesla logo on it. It's worth $37,000. He gave the ring to Elon Musk as a gift. Baller said he wanted to find a way to thank Musk for creating Tesla and providing over 50,000 Americans with jobs. This is the first and only piece of jewelry Baller has ever given to any celebrity as a gift. Ironically, just weeks after he gave Musk a ring, Baller, who happens to own a Tesla, got locked in his car for over 30 minutes when the electric door shut on him and refused to open. Number 8. Audi Q7 $70,000 Back when Elon had a very large young family, his Tesla company was concentrating on building a two-seater car, so the Musks needed something bigger for their blood. He chose what was then one of the most luxurious SUVs, the Audi Q7. And he wasn't overly impressed. He loved the style, not the substance. When it launched in 2006, it was one of the largest, most refined off-roaders money could buy. But there was one significant problem. Even though it had a third row of pop-up chairs, making it a fully-fledged seven-seater access wasn't easy. The Audi Q7 is particularly horrendous, said Musk. Even in the best-case scenario, you need to be a dwarf mountain climber to get into the back seat. With apologies to mountain climbers of any size, but he made the point. He also has a solution. When developing Tesla's Model X, Musk specified that his SUV should feature falcon wing doors to enable easier access to the back seats, especially in tight parking spaces. So now, whenever Musk travels with the family or small groups of Sherpas, he doesn't have any problems whatsoever. Number 7. McLaren F1 $1 million when my first company got bought, I had to decide between buying a house in Palto Alto or a McLaren F1, Musk tweeted. Was no contest. I bought the F1 in a small condo and it was much cheaper than the car. Of the 106 McLaren F1s ever made, number 67 was one of the seven imported to the U.S. in 1997 and belonged to one very careless owner, Elon Musk. The three-seater hypercar was capable of 240 miles per hour and Musk used it like a company car, often commuting from LA to San Francisco in it. Despite putting 11,000 miles on it, Musk was so confident he couldn't be one of those cliched rich guys and buys a sports car and crashes it. He didn't even bother getting insurance. Fast forward to 2000 and Musk was heading to an investment meeting with his friend Peter Thiel when his passenger asked, so Elon, what can this thing do? To which Musk replied, watch this. To make a long story short, both men emerged unhurt in the subsequent accident, but the car sustained some heavy damage. Fortunately for Musk, he had founded a payment company called X.com that emerged with a company called Confinity that subsequently became PayPal and was bought by eBay in 2002, netting Musk a whopping $165 million, which helped with the F1 repairs. Number 6. Lotus Esprit S1 
$1 million. A Long Island couple spent about $100 on an unclaimed storage unit in 1989 and stumbled upon a fortune. When they rolled open the door, they found a 1976 Lotus Esprit sports car tucked beneath a pile of blankets. That's because it wasn't just any 1976 Lotus Esprit. The car was featured in the 1977 James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me. As any spy-loving cinephile knows, in the movie the retrofitted Esprit is jettisoned off a dock and turns into a submarine which can fire missiles. Their discovery eventually caught the attention of Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who grew up watching the films. In 2013, he put an anonymous bid on the car, offering up an incredible $1 million for the aquatic vehicle. Number 5. Los Angeles Home – $4.5 million Musk owns a curvaceous, tech-controlled home in Brentwood, California. This home calls to mind an angular spaceship design. And since his company is hard at work building its own rockets, it might be more than he needs to have a home that looks like one too. The four-bedroom, three-bath, mid-century modern embraces its position at the very tip of a flat iron-shaped lot by using a boomerang design to maximize the available build space. By having the softly curved wall look out onto a backyard with tall privacy hedge, it can be made of floor-to-ceiling windows to let in as much light as possible without letting anyone see in. The 3,000-square-foot house uses spacious open-plan rooms such as the living room off the kitchen. The sliding glass doors out to the pool and a painted brick wall almost gives the feeling of being outdoors, even though it's very much inside. Number 4. Bel Air Mansion – $17 million Walled, gated, and assuredly protected by a state-of-the-art security system, the palatial residence measures in at more than 16,000 square feet, with seven bedrooms and 11 baths, though many aspects of the estate remain a mystery. It's clear there are lush, expertly maintained gardens, a swimming pool with inset spa, several alfresco dining patios, and garaging for at least four Teslas. The multi-story house, a towering but architecturally insipid structure that sweep over the Bel Air Country Club, submitting at the Pacific Ocean and Catalina Island on the horizon. The mansion, originally built in 1990, features such amenities as a home theater, a two-story library, a two-room guest suite, a wine cellar, and a gym. Musk still owns several other homes in the area, including Gene Wilder's former residence, which is situated just across the street. Number 3. Private Jet – $70 million In 2015, Elon Musk had Gulfstream Aerospace build him a custom-made jet. It was finished and delivered to him in 2016. At the time, the Gulfstream G650ER price was around $70 million. This private jet can run for over 7,500 miles non-stop. It has a twin engine and operates as a business jet aeroplane. Gulfstream G650ER and 650GY private jets is one of the most preferred choices by billionaires. Number 2. Solar City 3.5 billion dollars. One of the many companies Elon Musk owns is Solar City, which is located in San Mateo, California and is worth over 3.5 billion dollars. The company markets, manufactures, and installs solar panels to both residential and commercial properties across the world. In 2014, the company announced that it would be opening a $900 million gigafactory in Buffalo, New York. Solar City is a subsidiary company of Tesla. It has locations in 20 states, making it a valuable and wealthy venture. In 2013, Solar City was the leading residential solar installer in the U.S. and Solar Power World magazine listed it as number two overall solar installation company in the U.S. In 2013, the company purchased Paramount Solar from Paramount Equity for $120 million. By 2015, its installed panels were capable of generating 870 megawatts of solar power and accounted for approximately 28% of non-utility solar installations in the U.S. One of the reasons Elon Musk acquired the company was, in his words, to create a seamlessly integrated Tesla battery and solar power product that looks beautiful. As of May 2016, Solar City operates in 20 jurisdictions, Hawaii, the District of Columbia, and 18 other states on the West Coast, in the Southwest, and in the Northeast. It continues to grow exponentially outside the U.S. Number 1. SpaceX 
$34 billion. The pride and joy of Elon Musk's empire, SpaceX is a space exploration and American aerospace manufacturer that was founded in 2002. The company has won several contracts to resupply the International Space Station and deliver several high-profile satellites into orbit for various government organizations. The company was most recently involved in the launch of the secret government satellite code named Zuma that was reported to have been lost after the company delivered it into orbit. As of December 2017, SpaceX has been valued at around $20 billion, and the company has also raised an additional $1 billion in funding from Google. SpaceX has also made plans to be one of the first to expand into the lunar tourism market and plans to be the first to land a man on Mars sometime in the 2020s. Which one of Elon's possessions impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notifications.